fruit dresses. Apparently that's what we're doing now. I don't know why I have so many fruit themed fabrics, but I couldn't let the strawberry dress be by herself. So I decided to make her a friend. I thought it would be fun to do almost the exact same dress, but make it with pineapples and yellow silk instead. We can't forget our corgi break. Now, I don't know how the sleeves of the pineapple dress ended up way larger than the strawberry ones, but I think it really worked out in my favor. And here she is, the pineapple dress. I think she came out really great and is a great sister to the strawberry dress. Let me know which one you like better and what fruit you want to see next. Bye! We are back with another impulse project. This one brought to you by my impatience for spring. And also by the fact that I bought way too many yards of this strawberry fabric and need to use it. Fun fact, I have not done a bustier style dress in like two months, so this was quite a process. And yes, corgi breaks are absolutely necessary. Since spring is here, I wanted to revisit our puffy princess sleeves. And since there's never enough sparkly strawberries for my liking, I ended up cutting some more out and adding it to the bodice. And this is the final look. I think it's safe to say that I am obsessed. It's time for the pumpkin dress. Turns out they don't actually make glitter pumpkin fabric, so we're gonna make it ourselves. Like, really ourselves, with starting with the stencil and everything. This was probably the longest and hardest part of the process, cutting these stupid stencils out, but we got it. I went ahead and cut the pattern pieces first before adding the pumpkins. This corgi break is more for moral support because I don't know what I'm doing. As you can see by the stencil, this isn't my first attempt for you guys. So basically I put this down, add the spray glue, and then add this glitter and do a really satisfying peel up of the stencil. And then it's just repeating the process millions of times until you feel like dying or until your stencils look like that on the underside. <laughs> And then I ran out of blue, so we're gonna have to come back for part two, but here are all the bodice pieces, it's really cute. Alright, bye! It's pumpkin dress time! Now, if you didn't see the video where I actually made the pumpkin dress fabric, not to worry because we are assembling the dress today, so you didn't miss anything. Now this fabric sheds like crazy, so be prepared to get glitter on everything. Here I'm stitching together the outer layer. I will add a lining so it doesn't itch against your skin. But first we have a corgi break. After this I went ahead and gathered down the sleeves and then I went and gathered down the skirt as well and attached it all together. After stitching it together I added an orange waistband and here you are, the pumpkin dress. 